man who kills somebody on your watch, a man you released, you don't remember hitting him. We need to establish a firm defense. Are you asking if you... The judge that? stars Robert Duvall and Robert Downey Jr. and is about Robert Duvall, who's head of this family, and Robert Downey Jr., who's the son of Duvall. And in the past, they had a little fallout, but now RDJ's back in town because his mother dies. But then there's this um, criminal charge against his father, against Duvall's character, and now Robert Downey Jr. has to set up a defense to prove his father's innocence. The biggest appeal of this movie is Robert Downey Jr. and Robert Duvall as the leads. Robert Downey Jr. and Robert Duvall and any scenes that they are in, they steal the show. And there's this scene near the middle during this hurricane, and then when they pour out their frustrations at each other, it's just like, oh my gosh, it's like one of the best scenes. Not the best scenes I've ever seen, but it's definitely one of the best scenes um, in this movie, and you feel the emotions as these two characters go after each other, go after their past, and like these two actors are so great in this movie, and definitely Duvall deserves a Academy Academy Award nomination as a Best Supporting Actor that year back in uh, 2014. There's also a bunch of court cases, obviously, because this is called The Judge, and. They are done really well. This is not A Few Good Men, though, where like you're, it's really quotable and you throw law books at each other, metaphorically. Um, but it's done well enough that I actually want more of it. Like, in A Few Good Men, that encompasses like probably like 40 to 50 percent of the movie. In this movie, it's only probably 20 to 30 percent. And I would like to see more of it. And also, it's great to see the dy dynamic between Robert Downey Jr. and the rest of his family in this movie, and to see what he's lost by moving away from his town, and see his brothers have families and stuff. So, it's a really good emotional uh, family drama. The problem with this movie, and it's not enough to tank this movie, but there are a few. So, the problems are um, the emotional payoff and the setup. So, there's a lot of setup. Um, that leads to the emotional payoff in the end, and I, I won't spoil it for you, but there's not enough setup in the sense that it's all told through dialogue, but there's no show. For example, you learn that Robert Downey Jr. was a complete a-hole as a teenager, but after that, he uh, went to law school, he was first in his class, and he's a pretty good lawyer. But you, to see that rise is all in show and through dialogue, but you don't get to see his change. And I know you don't need flashbacks or anything, but there's not much setup. So when you find out about it, you're like, oh, oh, okay, I didn't know that. I mean, there's, it's a lot of implying. So it kind of ruins the emotional payoff near the end. And it's still emotional, but if they handle the setup right, then I would probably be like crying near the end. And it's kind of a sad missed opportunity. So this movie can get over dramatic at times um, in the courtroom, even though the, that scene near the end um, in the courtroom, it does pay off. Um, the problem is it gets a little too um, emotional and personal in the courtroom where, like, okay, come on, in real life this wouldn't happen, like the judge would tell them to move on. And that goes on with some other scenes where, like, Robert Duvall's character, he sees, he sees, like, these videos about the past and whatnot, so... Yeah, it does get a little bit overdramatic at times. There's a subplot between Robert Downey Jr., Robert Downey Jr.'s character, and a former lover back at his hometown, and it's terrible. And there's also a stupid thing about whether or not, like, he hit on her daughter, uh, and whether or not he's the father father of that daughter. And it's stupid. You cut that out. That this movie is much better, much more cohesive. So this movie is really enjoyable, it carries a lot of emotional weight, a family drama, the performance are excellent across the board, especially Robert Duvall and Robert Downey Jr., but it does get a little overdramatic at times, and they mishandle the setup and the payoff of the conclusion. Um, I'll give this movie a 6.7 out of 10. It's a decent movie, and I enjoyed it, I liked it, but they mishandled some things that prevented me from giving a higher score. So the judge, have you seen this movie? Is this... So the judge, have you seen this movie? What do you think about it? Let me in the comments below and I'll see you in the next review.